welcome to today i am here to explain cambridge igcsc ict 2023 february march paper 3 spreadsheet part in this part of the question paper they said that you have been supplied with the following source files so i have already have these files with me in my folder then they ask us to start with task 1 so we need to create a new word process document so i will create a word document this word document should include my name center number candidate number on every page and this should be saved with a name like this so i will just include here a header with my name then here is my center number and then my candidate number close this and save this file as on desktop into the same folder of p3 with the name as they suggested and i will save this one as a word document by just changing my candidate number to xx so click okay it is done now next step is the spreadsheet part that tawara cricket club records on a spreadsheet the number of runs scored by each player in each match that they played so open and examine the file m23 batting dot csv so here is the csv file and then what we need to do is we need to delete row 2 so here is row 2 right click delete the row then insert a new row at the top of the spreadsheet so just click here right click and insert next step is to merge a1 to v1 to place the text tawara cricket club so a1 to v1 here merge and just include the text here and then after merge a2 to v2 a2 till v2 we need to merge them as well just like that and then after place in the footer right align the text spreadsheet edited by then followed by a space then your name center number candidate number right align in the footer so file print page setup header and footer then they want in the footer on the right side the text edited by and space your name then candidate center number sorry and then candidate number that's all that should be on the right side of the page as you can see right now let's go back and follow the next step that we need to save this spreadsheet with the name m23 cricket underscore center number candidate number as a spreadsheet so file save as with excel workbook just like that so next step is to format the spreadsheet to look like this so they already mentioned format row 1 have 36 point white text so row 1 36 point white text 
with a dark grey background with a dark grey background and then after we need to have for row to 18 point sans serif font black font with light grey background so click here font color should be black and it should be 18 points yes 18 point and then the color is going to be light gray that's it now we just simply need to click on save and we need to check other things as well like we need to increase the height of this row so in this case click here text wrap and put the data exactly into the center as they said and then after this row should be right align just like that and the data should be center align so all the data that we have it should be exactly into the center of each and every cell that's all let's move forward to step number three first i would like to save and then move place in cell u4 a function to count the number of matches played by this player so it's very easy just click in u4 and count from here from match 1 till match 17 so equal to count and then count starting from match 1 till this and then after you just simply get this one and double click to replicate for the rest of the cells that's what they said replicate the function then in question 4 place in cell b33 and b34 function to display the highest and lowest score for this match replicated this for the other fun cells so we need to go to cell b33 to get the highest so equal to max max of what starting from cell b4 till this cell b31 close the bracket press enter and then replicate this to the rest of the cells as they mention then for cell b34 you have to use the function called minimum again minimum starting from this cell to the end and we just press enter to get the desired result and then we replicate it to the rest of the cells so that's what we got the maximum and minimum score cell v4 question number five place a replicable formula in cell v4 to calculate the average score for this player rounded to one decimal place so what we need to do is we need to use the formula the total run score divided by number of matches played minus not out so we will go to the cell as they mentioned cell v4 here we are to find out the average score so as they mentioned here we need to get the total score first so equal to sum the total score the total score starts from cell b4 till r4 for this player and then 
this should be divided by as they mention number of matches played so which is here in this cell so this one minus the number of time he is not out so here it is number of matches he played and then not out this then we just get the value so that's what we got the average now here they mention that edit this formula edit this formula to make sure that cell contains are not displayed if this player has played fewer than five matches so very simple double click and just see if the number of matches played by that specific player it's here in the u4 so we can see if the u4 is less than 5 then comma we leave this blank otherwise this all operation should be done so if the number of matches are less than 5 then it will not display anything let me replicate this formula to the rest as you can see here we have number of matches 3 and there is nothing here because we did mention here if the u4 is less than 5 then nothing should be displayed and then after replicate is this formula as it is already replicated we just press enter and replicate one more time and let's scroll down to question number six now what we need to do is are we missing with anything yeah here we need to round it to one decimal place this whole function so what we need to do is double click here and starting from the sum itself we will just say round this whole function to one decimal place so we just rounded this function this whole function round to only one decimal place press enter and replicate this function to the rest of the cells and then go back to question number six we need to save the spreadsheet so let me just click on save and then print your spreadsheet showing formula so formula then show formula and just double click to adjust according to the width of the cell showing all the functions and then after you need to go click on print preview and follow the next steps like we need to display the rows and column headings so we will click on page setup sheet and we will click on row and column headings then they did ask us to represent the grid lines as well and then click on page to get us the page orientation landscape so page orientation landscape and then after the content of all the cells should be easily readable so this is how it will look like it look like now eight uh, pages so you can just go back and if you you can do that just simply uh, click on page break preview to use less pages so you can just extend this one to here and uh, maybe one more like this and let's print preview does it fit yes 11 pages are 11 columns are here and then after you simply move this one to the last so here is our only two papers to be printed in order to save the papers so the contents are fully visible you will just need to print it out and then the next step is you need to sort all the data for the players in descending order of their average score so we will just move there normal and 
we will just simply click here home and then we apply the filter so we just need to select them and we need to apply the filter and let me click on formula not to show the formula and then just click here one more time to get everything done so we need to arrange them in descending order of average score so largest to smallest and then uh, those players who do not have an average score displayed must be at the bottom of the list so the the players those who have haven't score they should be displayed at the bottom so we already uh, did from the uh, largest to smallest or you can just uh, yeah you can just simply like have them like this and then as i mentioned here those players who have not who do not have an average score displayed must be at the bottom of the list so we will try to help out ourselves of this situation as you can see here we have some players those their average score is not here but they are at the top so we just simply do what you know we simply just move them around to the end by even putting them into the uh, order so we just simply uh, go back and we click control z and then we select the data from here till this one there or we can just simply select this one then this one keep on selecting the data and then we can just simply click on home and then we can just go to largest to smallest okay so for multiple range entry we can just simply deal with them like this so you can just simply select and right click sort them into largest to smallest and continue with the current selection so this is how so the empty ones as you can see they are at the end and then after step number eight save your spreadsheet with the file name this cricket one file save as and this time you need to save it as cricket one that's all and then you need to print this time without the grid lines and other heading and column setting like click here sheet remove these two and also it should be page orientation landscape so it will remain landscape so click on landscape orientation and then again it's only getting two pages so you can still fix it like clicking on page setup I mean just click on um, page break preview and you can just simply adjust them into a single sheet E1. So when you preview this time, so it will cover the whole page. It's only a single page and you can print it out. So that's all from the, web, the um, spreadsheet part of this question paper and hope you have learned about how to use the if function and count and max and men function so thanks for watching and please subscribe the channel for more videos and updates